So, so uh, you become what you think about. If you think you can do something, you give yourself every chance of success. There isn't a guarantee. I'm not going to sit here and say that you're going to be guaranteed of achieving it because there is no guarantee. But the way in which you increase the level of, uh, of success, your chances of success is by believing you can get there, by thinking you can get there, and you give yourself yeah. every, ch every chance of success. Because what's the alternative? The alternative is that you don't think you can get there, and I'll guarantee you that you'll never get there. Look, a, a, a big one that Tony talks, uh, sorry, Gary talks about all the time is the massive mm. thing of self-awareness. Mm. Um, you know, so much of, of what I speak about with people on a constant basis, and I'm talking about speaking with people that um, also do, you know, you know coaching or counselling uh, mm. services and so forth, and they can't mm. work out what they're all about themselves and have got their own issues. And I just wonder about their own self-awareness. What, you know, when you see some of these people, Tony, your clients, some of the property development students, what are you, what are you seeing in terms of self-awareness? And we've spoken about a, a client that you have uh, mm. and their self-awareness about what's going on. And also right. the factor of, you know, everything that I'm doing is my fault. Everything that's well, around me is my fault. Well, it's my, it's, it's, it's my responsibility. It's my responsibility. So I would frame it a little bit different, but it's my responsibility. So it's the, you know, but, but in regards to there's a couple of things there, Luke. So let me go back to the self-awareness. So one of the reasons that, um, you know, one of the benefits of having a coach, and this is not about, um, you know, me promoting my business, get an accountability buddy, right? So, I mean, if you want mm. to use someone like me, by all means, reach out. But if you, you know, if you can't afford someone like me, that's fine. Have 50 just grand a pop, yep. Just have someone. Uh, just have a. Uh, 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 that that that's my special rate. Um, so just have. Uh, just just have an accountability. No, it's not that way. Uh, have an accountability buddy. But the whole idea is that you want someone to um, hold the mirror up to your face because quite often we aren't aware. And the reason that we're not aware is because we've done something for such a long time that it's in our subconscious. And when it's in our subconscious, it's on autopilot. And a great example of this is uh, when you're driving down the road and someone cuts you off, what do you do? What do you do? You hit the horn, you flip the bird, you swear, you carry on, you get angry, you get frustrated, right? That's you operating in your subconscious. That's your autopilot coming on. And so you're, you're not aware, but these things are happening. And what happens then is you might then stop and think about that so a few days later. The more that you can become aware of the way in which you act, the way in which you behave, then what will happen Kindness. is that time frame, the time frame will become closer and closer and closer. So instead of recognising a day or so later, you might recognise half a day later. Then you might recognise a few hours later. And all of a sudden, you're then able to, in the moment, say to yourself, hey, I'm procrastinating right now. I now have a choice. So just mm. because you recognise that you're procrastinating, you still have a choice. The choice is I'm going to continue to procrastinate or the choice is I'm going to put down social media and I'm or watching TV or whatever I'm doing and I'm going to do that something that I do. But quite often we're actually uh, not aware that we're procrastinating until an hour or so has gone by and then we go, huh, I procrastinated, right? So it's a self-awareness piece and having an accountability buddy, if you're struggling with self-awareness, we all struggle with, you know, we're not, we're not all perfect in this regard. And so it's having someone... accountability Who's a good accountability buddy for someone? I would suggest it's not a family member. I would suggest it's someone who's prepared to tell you as it is, right? Quite often what happens is family, maybe even close friends, they want to protect you. Oh, you're doing a great job, Johnny. Oh, yeah, you know, as, appo as opposed to, you know what? Yeah, that's going well, but... Gee whiz, I'm seeing some areas for opportunity over here. People aren't prepared to do that because they're not prepared mm. to hurt the other person or they're worried about how that might come back on them. So if you want to get into this, you need to be open for constructive feedback and you need to make it very clear. I want you as my accountability buddy, but I want you to give it to me both barrels. I want you to give it to me respectfully. How do you, but how I do you go with I want you... family members, Tony, when you're talking about these things? You know, you're doing this daily. Look. I'm doing this daily and, and people are asking me and, and, and talking to me about different things that are going on in their life. It's a well, struggle, it comes, isn't it? Yeah, and, and for some family members, they're not open for it. They're mm. not open for it. So for some family, it's about, again, self-awareness of the other person, the awareness of the other person. For some people, they're so closed-minded and you know what, you've tried before and it's ended up in disaster and you think to yourself, well, I just I can't, I couldn't be bothered. They're not ready. I couldn't be bothered. They're not ready. Right, they're not yeah. ready. They're not open for it. Whereas for other family members, they are ready for it. And that was the point I was going to make, that if you want to be coached, uh, you need to be open to be coached. 
right? Because you're going to hear some stuff that's going to be confronting. But it's confronting because it's coming from a place of good intent. And when mm. it comes from a place of good intent, then that's, that's key. That's someone who cares for you, who, mm. who has your best interests at heart, and they're going to tell you um, where they see there's some op- areas for opportunity. But they're also going to say to you, I hope, uh, where you're going well. So it's not about beating people up. It's about saying, well, hey, this, you're doing a great job over here, but then over here, have you thought about A, B, C, and D? But it has to, it's, it's where about the intention. Uh, really interesting, Tony, because it came up on our Facebook page the other day in terms of mm. uh, property and, and what's going on with buyers agents. And mm. um, a lot of the buyers agents out there uh, are seeing, you know, a lot more buyers agency courses actually being put in place and people being trained with very little experience as investors. Mm. Mm. Now, a lot of those buyers agencies, buyers agents aren't really liking the whole extent of these, you know, young people coming in, uh, we've got very little, little experience and, um, you know, they've got one property themselves and they're proclaiming to be a buyer's agent with all this experience or mm. with all these skills, I should say, rather than experience, but all these skills. Um, well, you know, what, what is your thought process behind that? I guess on both sides, you know, from well, the, someone the, who's... The thought, the, thought process, the thought process is don't compare yourself. The thought process is, is how, how can you control that? You can't. If someone wants to, it's no different to coaching. Uh, anyone can be a coach by changing your Instagram profile. You know, so, uh, you know, it's like... Well, how do you feel barrier. about that with other coaches that come in that, that have no experience? Well, you know, are probably young. But what can I do about it? What can, what, what, what can I do about it? What can I do about it? What I can do about it is I can constantly provide value for me. I can control what I do. I can control the fact that I have, uh, you know, uh, certifications and all sorts of stuff. I've got years of experience. I've also got uh, runs on the board. So I can control that. I can't control if a 21-year-old comes onto Instagram and proclaims to be a life coach. Uh, that's not how up to me. You, what how do you would feel say? about it? But what can I do about it? So no, I, no, I, I'm I just saying, what, how, do you, how do you feel about it? Well... Uh, part of me feels bad about it because it brings all coaches down. But then I then rationalise that by saying, well, I can't control that. So then it's like, well, I focus on what I can do. And what I can do is constantly add value to people. And when I add value to people, they have a positive experience, they have a great result, and they go and tell their family and friends and other people, and that's how I grow my business. So but what, what can I do about uh, 21-year-olds who come on and proclaim to be a life coach? I, but, uh, I can't do I anything guess, about it. You know, th- this happens in pretty much all industries, right? There's always... Does? Always different people, and, and the same thing in buyers agents. And this is why all the you know a lot of the buyers agents are getting a little bit upset with it. I kind of think in a couple of different ways in in regards to this, and I'm just like, well, maybe it's just bringing more awareness to to the actual industry, even though that there is going to be some rogue traders out there in in terms of what they do and and how they put together things, and you know maybe it's going to give a bad taste to a lot of people who come in to do property investing. But is it creating a little bit more awareness and skills and experience uh, look at, look at, for those people? I don't know. Like, what? what look, do you think? look at look at could look at could be. It could change policy. It could mean that uh, there there is uh, they lift the barrier to entry. But again, if if you are out there focusing on all these sorts of things, well, you're focusing on the wrong areas. You're not focusing mm. on growing your business. You're focusing on comparing yourself to other people. And I'd say stop it. I'd say focus on your own business. Right? You want to go and focus on everyone else. Spend well, all that head... energy. Spend all that yeah, energy. Spend, yeah. Put it put it towards what you want to do, right? Sit there getting worked up and blah, blah, blah. I can't believe these people are, uh, you know, coming into buyer's agency or whatever. Uh, you, you're losing. You're losing the battle, okay? You want to stop it uh, and you want to focus on your own business, what you can control and move in a forward direction. I'm okay, to get worked up it, now, mate. Yeah, I love it. I love it. This is what I wanted to see. I, obviously, these questions are really, like, checking off these boxes here to get Tony fired up. Absolutely love it. You know, um, there, there's a... Yeah, I guess it goes back to sort of that terminology piece as well, Tony, in terms of, you know, what story you're telling if you're get, you know, getting all riled up and upset about what other people are doing, are you actually bringing a perspective or a bad or negative energy to what's going on with yourself? Of course you are. If you become what you think about. If you think, if you think about that it's the scarcity law of attraction. type of thing? It's the, it's, well, it's, it's, the, well, it's scarcity, uh, but it's also the law of, law of attraction in the sense of uh, if you're getting, putting frustration out to the world, that's what's going to come back to you. Scarcity, because all of a sudden what you're doing is going, oh, I'm seeing all these other people. There's going to be uh, le- less opportunities for all of us. What a load of crap. What a load of crap. There's plenty of opportunities. Uh, and secondly, why don't you up your own game and why don't you give people a reason to get on board with your business as opposed to uh, you know, worrying about someone who is uh, proclaiming to be something that they're not. 
You go out there and add more value. You focus on what you can do. You grow your business. You constantly, uh, you know, do things to move your business forward. Forget about the other people. There are going to be people like that in every industry, right? Every industry, there's going to be someone like that. Uh, the successful people, right, to go back to, the, you know, we touched on blueprints. The successful people aren't sitting there worried about um, charlatans uh, and these people coming in uh, to their industry. They're focusing on what have I got to do to be better? How can I better serve my clients? How can I create more products that add value? So on and so forth.